Well, Connor, I have a surprise for you. Hey, what's that? I bought us three tickets to the fair. Three? Oh my god, Dad, you, you shouldn't have. Wait, Mom's on a business trip. Who's gonna come with us? Get in the car. We gotta go get him. Dad, that, that doesn't answer my question. Dad? Oh my god, no communication at all. And that's everything I want for my future, at least. But I know sadly I'll probably never get any of the things I listed. You know, I won't have a kid ever. I won't have a wife. I won't have a job. I won't be able to pass things that were my enemy, which is the main thing I want to do. But he hates me. Quite frankly, I hate him. Even though hate can't last forever, it's lasting right now. And I don't know what to do. I only had two friends left in this cool world. Corey and Bowie. You may not know them, but they were my friends. Corey, he moved to Vermont. And I haven't heard from Bowie in a month. Probably forgot I even existed. So, what do you plan I do now with my life? Well, I know you said you may not get what you want in the future, but... You have to at least try. You can't just give up. Find yourself a new girl. I, I, you told me about your old girl. Got from cancer, but that's besides the point. You have to move on. You can't hold on to the past forever. So you have to find a new girl. Don't have kids right away because you're going to regret it. Grow up and get married and then have kids. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll be able to patch things up with your rivalry. And who exactly is your rival? Do not get me started on Johnny. Oh, sensitive subject. I get it. I heard about him. Well, you'll know how much of a piece of shit he is. I just don't really want to talk about it. He took everything from me. But, like you said, you can't hold, you can't hold on to the past forever. It's, it's hot in here. Can you turn on that fan? Yeah, that'd be no problem. Oh, much better. Much, much better. Well... I don't really have a place to go. Homeless. Really? Come on, a 19 year old shouldn't be having to deal with that. That's what I tried to tell my guardian, but he didn't care and he kicked me out anyway. And I've been spending a while trying to find a place to live. I need to get like a, a job, a job at like the gas station or something. Raise some money for an apartment. I just, I'm in a really tough spot right now and I just, I don't know what to do. Well, hey, me and my wife, we have a spare bedroom in our house. Maybe you could move in. Wait, wait really? You, you are letting me move in. What piece of shit? Why, why, why would you do that? Because it's the right thing to do. No. Come on. Let's end off this therapy session. Let's go home. Our home. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Can you just get your hair out of my face? Oh, sorry. It's just I'm trying to own new style. No, it's cool. I like it. What? Let's go home. No, let's cut this fan off so the electric bill isn't through the roof. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. All right. Let's go home. Well said. Oh, and this is your new room. I've always wanted LED lights. Well, today's the day it comes true. Come on, let me show you your bed. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that word. Here's your bed. I mean, it's on the floor, but it's about the best we've got. Awesome! <laughs> oh, I miss doing this. It's been a while since I felt like a kid. <laughs> well, welcome to the family. Thanks. Now, I hate to be rude and ask this, but do you guys have games? Yeah, we have the PS4 right there, we have a Switch, and we have a laptop. Gee, what do you do for- Oh yeah, you're a therapist, I forgot. Yeah, I've been a therapist for almost 20 years. You've been a therapist longer than I've been alive. That's crazy. No wonder you're so rich. Huh, I guess so. Sorry if that came off as mean, it's just my personality. It's a pretty shitty personality, but it's just the way it is. Don't stress it, kid. 
well, what do you want to play? The PS4, the Nintendo Switch? And if you want to play the Nintendo Switch, I will whoop you in some Smash Brothers. Oh, do you want to bet? Sure thing. How about 10 push-ups for the loser? That sounds about right. Ugh, it's on. Come on. Come on. Dang it! <laughs> I told you I would win. Man, this isn't fair. Uh, I haven't done push-ups in like a year. One. Two. Dang it. Oh, don't worry about those push-ups. Just admit that I'm better than you. In your dreams? Well, I think I'm gonna go for a walk, get some fresh air. That's fine by me. Go ahead. Sweet. By the way, thank you. I know I already said it, but just thank you so much. Really appreciate it. No problem. Be safe. It's officially fall season. It's about time. Sorry, I was kicking my ass. Well, I guess this is where it all ended. Right here. In a walk with the home. Well, at least I finally have a chance to redeem myself. Have the dream that I actually want come true. You know, about a year ago when I thought it was over, I didn't do anything with my life. Now, this is different. I'm an adult now. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a young adult, but still. I need to focus on me. Get my life together. Get a house. Get a job. Just make my dreams come true. Kill the day. <sighs> that was a nice walk. Free! <laughs> Why do you have a gun in- Are you me? Yes, but no. I'm in the other dimension. And I'm high dimension. Johnny drove me over the edge. So, what I did was I bought a gun and I started hunting down everyone associated with Johnny. My dimension, I've already killed everyone, but I need more. So, I came to your dimension, using my intelligence. And now, I want to kill you, your Johnny, your Cory, your Bowie, everyone. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't kill me. If me from another dimension kills another me, that's gonna destroy the multiverse, and everyone's gonna die. You can't kill- you can't go to other multiverses and mess with it. You can't do that. You're gonna break everything! You're gonna break the universe! You know what, Woody? What is there left to lose? I've lost Arnold, Alexi, I've killed Lewis, I've lost Liam, Cory moved away, my grandparents are gone, my parents are gone. What is there left? So, the world took everything away from me, now I'm going to take everything away from the world. You know, the same thing happened to me too. I've lost the exact same people that you've lost. But I didn't go down your path. And look where I am. I could finally live out a good life. No one got hurt in the process. Listen, just drop the gun. We can fix this. You have to go back to your dimension, because the multiverse is going to explode if you don't. But you don't have to kill to get your way. I learned that when I killed Lewis. I didn't want to, but he pushed me over the edge. But when I did it, I immediately regretted it. I realized the wrong that I did, and I vowed to never do it again. Until I saw Johnny again. But even still, I still won. 
without killing him. You don't need a kill to succeed in life. So just drop the gun. Go back to your dimension. Turn yourself into the police. And just... Just live out your best life. Even though you might be in jail forever, just make the best of it. That's about all we can do in this cruel world. You're right. What I'm doing is wrong. I need to fix it. Thank you, Woody. You're welcome. So long, Woody. And hey, just, just try to keep your head up, no matter what. I'll try. To a near future.